Uh, let's let's go ahead and introduce these teams. In lane two, mention is Insight uh, DG. Uh, the driver is Ines Marquire. Hill one, Catherine Detmer. Hill two, Anya Ioka. Hill three, Ellen. Oh, that's weird. They have the same hill two for both teams. I don't know what's going on with this roster. Hill three, Ellen Egwin. Hill four, Teresa Murthill. And hill five, Caitlin Cole. Something's a little up with my spreadsheet because I'm seeing the same roster for both teams, so I apologize. Um, uh, in lane one, I know for sure Spirit is going to be pushing Seraph, the driver, Cynthia Zhu, the hill one pusher is Mame Kandua, hill two, uh, Ana Ioka, perhaps, hill three, Ellen Angwin, hill four, Teresa Mirthil, and hill five, Caitlin Kolb. That's correct for one of the teams and correct for one of the other teams, so apologize. I just read whatever's put in front of me. Uh, we'll get that sorted out for tomorrow. Um, but really excited to see Spirit here. Always very fast buggies, always very good push teams. Looking to defend their crown as your women's champions. All that coming up right here. The defending champs with their role out here, getting close to the start of this race. And they've had a lot of practice. Um, according to uh, Tisha, our roles reporter for the BAA, they were able to carry over their max, they get, we're, were able to get their max carryover for three of their drivers in the first weekend of fall rolls. So here we go, the defending champs are off. Spirit looking to take it two years in a row. Mame on Hill 1 looking to take the queen of Hill 1. And she's really zooming up there. Absolutely. DGA putting up a pretty solid fight, though. Not terribly far behind. Wow. Transition there at about 21 and a half. By far the that fastest one, two we've seen. Fantastic. All right, let's check this form going into the free roll. Deep, nice. deep shove by Spirit A. Really nice hill, too, right there. Looking good for the Beautiful. defending champs. Smooth in the free roll. We talked earlier about, uh, you know, kind of what they will do with that uh, offset um, wheel, if you will, to kind of help with the free roll. And uh, definitely looking like the top time of the day. Nice showing so far as we're nearing the shoot for Spirit A. Beautiful paint job is always about a 103.9. Fantastic Excellent. stop sign time. And uh, their top time last year was uh, their winning time at 245.18, looking uh, probably better than that so far, but a lot of racing still to go. Coming into the shoot turn, can they keep it together? A little bit of speed scrubbing, but overall through cleanly, and hopefully she has enough speed to pull through. Insight also coming through with a really good turn and a wide apex afterwards. All right. Preserving quite a bit more speed than Spirit. Yeah, it looks like Spirit lost wow. some in the shoot. Oh. You see Insight coming up pretty closely. So this will be on the back hills. That's a, a little very bit good there, yeah. roll up for Insight and DG. Excellent job from the driver of Insight there. Absolutely. And let's see, gaining actually some ground right there on the 3-4 transition. Maybe a three buggy length difference here, but Spirit A starting to separate themselves. This is the case where, you know, an established team, one of the best push teams, and uh, that gap that was close is not so anymore here. Uh, three and four separating, but let's see what we get with the four, two, five. Spirit A, you know, really nice one, two. Lost some time there in the shoot, but still trying to have the best time of the day with that transition. Looks like the clock has stopped there. We're at about uh, uh, 223, 224. It's caught up. Spirit came through the shoot with a speed of 33 miles an hour and DG with a speed of 32.5. And you can really see, based on that difference in roll up, how much of a difference a good shoot turn can make. So here we are, Hill 5. Looking good, they've made up some of that distance. DGA right behind and crossing there, 243.02 unofficially. Uh, we'll look to get that, but that would be good enough to get them in the first place. And DGA at 248.84, that would put them in about like fourth or fifth place. So really nice race for both teams.